We're about to show our city. We're about to show the law enforcement, those who refuse to come hey, forward, those who man. refuse to give the family answers. That's We're going to shut Aaron House Street down for 15 minutes. Protesters in Elizabeth City calling for the release of body camera footage of Pasquotank deputies shooting and killing Andrew Brown on Wednesday morning. To make their point, they shut down a busy intersection for about two hours this afternoon, longer than the 15 minutes a city councilman originally said. We're marching and we're hoping to accomplish um, getting those that footage released. And Tommy wasn't coming to speak to us because I don't understand why he isn't. But the district attorney says under North Carolina law, body camera footage is not considered public record and a court order is needed to release it. The sheriff addressed that in a statement released last night. There is body camera footage of the attempt to arrest Mr. Brown. The State Bureau of Investigation has this footage and it can only be released by a judge. There are still many questions about what happened Wednesday morning. Pasquotank and Dare County deputies were serving a felony drug warrant on Brown. At some point, Pasquotank deputies shot and killed him. Neighbors say he was driving away from them when the shooting happened. Brown's family says they're not satisfied with the response from the sheriff's office. This stuff needs to stop. It needs to stop. I hurt so bad on the inside. And these protests are continuing as the community waits for answers. We are here to be a voice for those who have no voice, for those who have been done wrong. And tonight more protests are expected as many in the community continue to question what happened to Andrew Brown. In Elizabeth City, Brendan Ponton, News 